Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Surveyor 202 RBLE. This camper comes in at 25 feet, 1 inch, tongue to bumper, and weighs just over 5,000 pounds empty. Up front here we have your power tongue jack with the LED light so you can see at nighttime when you're hooking up. We have two 20 pound LP tank bottles that will be filled by the Outpost RV. We have the hard shell cover with a quick access lid so you can reach right in and turn those on and off. Down below, we have the battery tray with the battery cables already rammed. It has a red 12 volt cutoff switch and the yellow um, switch beside it there is going to be for your tire monitoring system so that way you can keep an eye on your tire pressure while traveling down the road. We have your black diamond plate rock guard, curved radius front end. We have the front windshield as well, giving it a nice look. Uh, something unique with the surveyors, it is all aluminum frame. It's aluminum rafters, floor, and sidewall. We have your laminated floor and sidewalls as well. We use the dense styrofoam insulation, and around each opening is also framed as well. Magnetic door catch. We have this large pass-through storage area here. Comes with a motion sensor light and also an adapter for your manual jacks. We have four jacks, two in the front and two in the back. We have this large power awning with the LED accent light. You can adjust the pitch of the awning simply by pulling down on it. The sun's coming down. You can adjust the pitch right here. We have your outside kitchen area. You have the griddle that's included, a sink area, refrigerator, and an outside water source here. Underneath will be an LP quick disconnect, so you can use the gas on the camper to run the griddle as well. Up top, we have your outside speakers that light up blue and your porch light as well. There are some TV connections here, so you can set your TV up outside if you'd like. All four wheels are gonna have self-adjusting brakes. We, uh, we are using the Goodyear tires on here, and down below, you'll notice that is the monitor for your tire pressure monitoring system. We have your sturdy steps going into the camper where each leg is adjustable if you're on different levels of ground. We also have this white light underneath here, so at nighttime, it'll light up the steps for you. Oversized grab handle. We have your black tempered glass entrance door. It comes with a full-size screen door and an integrated window as well. As we move to the back side, you get your four inch tube bumper to store your sewer hose, spare tire with the cover. Up top, it has a ladder prep where you can buy a telescoping ladder to hook up there for roof maintenance purposes. And it is also prepped for an observation camera. This is a 30 amp unit and it will come with a 25 foot detachable power cord. If the campground offers cable and satellite, you can tap into it right here. We also have your black tank flush, so when you're done camping, you can hook up your water hose and clean out the black tank. City water connection, so if you're at a campground, you'll hook your water hose up here and that'll pressurize the lines for you. And now we'll move in front of the slide room here. We have your fresh water fill. So if you're gonna be dry camping or boondocking, you can fill up the fresh water tank on the camper, turn on your water pump and use that water. We have your on-demand water heater. It's a tankless system. It's gas only, but you're only using gas when you're running hot water. So about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past. And last but not least, we have your other side of the storage compartment here. And that'll be it for our outside walkthrough on the 202 RBLE. And now we'll take a look at the inside. And now we will move to the inside. You'll notice the refrigerator is in the back here. That's gonna have a built-in pantry right beside it. Bathroom in the back. We have your dinette on the slide room. Front bedroom, kitchen area here. Nice open floor plan. And we'll go ahead and get started right inside the door. We have a couple of hooks to hang your keys on. There is a 200 watt solar panel mounted on the roof already. Up top, we have your switches for your awning lights run the slide room in and out, interior lights, and run your awning in and out as well. Microwave up top with some storage above that. We have the overhead cabinets just to the left there. Down below, we have your range vent that will vent to the outside. We have your cutting board, which also doubles as a backsplash and is the same size as the sink. So it will also be your sink cover. Uh, right in front of that, we are gonna have this cup that will hold the utensils for you. Lift this up and show you here. And then knife holders beside that. We are going to have your three burner stove top with the oven down below. And then your furnace is directly underneath that. 
We have our furnace vent to the right coming out of the cabinets. Uh, another unique feature, the furnace ducts are ran through the cabinetry here. So you don't have the floor vents getting dirt caught in them. We have the built-in central vac system here. It's got the tow kick down below. There is also an accessories bag that comes with it. So you have the hose as well to sweep the camper. We have this bottle opener on the left with the surveyor logo built into it as well. Another neat feature. Large single bowl sink with the high rise faucet. We have a 12 volt and 110 charge port over there. Right beside the storage up top, we have your stereo, which is AM FM and Bluetooth compatible. And just beside that, we have your TV that is included, that is on a swivel mount so you can turn it, so you can watch TV in bed, or you can turn it around while you're in the dinette and watch TV comfortably over here as well. Here we have a couple bar stools that are included with this bar top. Great place for eating. You're gonna have windows on both sides of the bed. Of course, you have the windshield up front. On both sides of the bed, we have built-in nightstands with 110 and 12 volt charge ports. Also, we have your storage compartment here, hanging storage up top. Cabinets over the bed with doors, so you can utilize that while traveling. We also have the decorative wallboard up front. This is a actual queen size mattress. It is a true 60 by 80 queen size mattress. There is storage underneath and we have a couple drawers as well. Great for storing your shoes there. I will lift the bed up here so you can take a look. So you have the drawers in the front, extra storage in the back with the motion sensor light. We also have the bag of accessories for the built-in sweeper here. Something else unique in the back uh, up by the head of the bed, we are going to have your built-in shelves. There is also a cup holder on both sides and 110 outlets back there. Great for phone chargers, uh, CPAP machines back there. And then we also get the same storage over here on the left-hand side with 110 outlets and a 12-volt charge port down below. In the slide room, we have your dinette windows on all three sides we have this decorative light also up top you get a different colored ceiling board it is the gold color that really ties everything together they've done a fantastic job on this 24 model booth dinette storage underneath each seat that will also turn into another sleeping area for you we have some decor that comes equipped with the camper digital thermostat for your air conditioner and furnace. And this will have the 15,000 BTU air conditioner. Couple coat hooks right inside the door. In the back, again, we have your pantry on the right-hand side. 12 volt refrigerator on the left-hand side. This camper is equipped with a 200 watt solar panel up top. That'll help you run the fridge while traveling down the road. We have your breakers and fuses just underneath there. Over here to the right, we are going to have the bathroom area. Right inside, we have the toilet. You'll notice the uh, toilet paper holder already installed. And then just to the right of that, we're gonna have storage underneath the sink. On the right-hand side, we have your monitors for your tanks to see how full they are. Also to turn on your water heater and water pump. There are 12 volt heating pads on all of your holding tanks. You can turn those on individually with the other three red switches. And then there is the main thermostat for your water heater to select the temperature for that. And of course, a 110 outlet there. We have some open storage, great for linens over here in the back. Up top, we are gonna have some more hooks for your towels in here. Up top, we have a built-in 12 volt vent fan. Medicine cabinet up above the sink area. Great storage in there. And you'll notice we have lots of great counter space here. Single bowl sink. And then of course in the shower area, this is a really large, almost square style shower. Get lots of room in here. It's gonna have the built-in shelves with it. And of course the handle that goes all the way up. 
You have the skylight up above that. You'll also notice that the shower door is on a track going straight across. And this is a marine grade style shower door and it will keep it tight the entire time. So you don't have to worry about that shower curtain fighting you. It'll keep it nice and tight and away from you the entire time. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Surveyor 202 RBLE. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.